Good morning, this is Alamon, and welcome back to Taiwan Typhoon. We finished our long, 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 long war with the Portuguese and Spanish and French and all that over the last couple episodes. Um, and now we're trying to get all of our troops back home. Oh yeah, and for some reason, Austria broke their alliance for some reason earlier. Okay, you want to be allies again, though. Ugh, all right. I don't know why they're being so flighty. Um, just buying points? I mean, that's usually a good deal. I am trying to save money right now, but let's do it. Let's do it. Cheaper than having advisors, at least. And that, ooh, supply limit, that's huge. That is absolutely huge. So, flying battery is in two more levels, but we do have our top level infantry, at least. So we're going to have to start fleshing out idea groups soon. We're not actually going to be able to flesh out everything by the time the game's over. Just a consequence of not being a Western power. We can do a lot to catch up, but uh, can't work miracles. But we have fleshed out all of our national ideas, right? Yes, yes we have. And that's the important thing. Any level 1s? No, no level 1s. It's probably time for us to build all of the light ships that we need. So let's see, you'll get there. Seventh. Okay, now... Actually, no, yeah, everybody can congregate there now because of the uh, supply limit increase. Okay, actually, that is the limit for there. But these guys can still land nearby. Ah, uh, still... I haven't had them mothballed. Now we're making so much more money, it's ridiculous. Okay. Um, naval force limit is huge. So, let's... Grab our 12 light ship template and just kind of get to work. Oh, that crossed the strait there. I wasn't meaning for that to happen. Something like that. Lots of light ships. Because they're actually quite useful in war because they're very fast. You can catch enemy fleets and pin them down before your uh, heavies can get there. And they also help a lot with your positioning statistic. So let's see, we have three free diplomats and everybody else is occupied, so that's good. Our last core is finishing up. Still no level one. Fortify. Oh, yeah. Let's do that. Yeah, actually, it would be a good idea to fortify all of these. So that the Castilians can't just steamroll over us. Well, that one has been fortified a little bit. March might actually be worthwhile on one of these. Maybe on Tawisk. Because it's going to get that manpower boost. So we're actually over our manpower cap right now. Alright, let's... Yeah, protect trade in Malacca. Protect trade in Malacca. Alright, a bunch of other ships are traveling right now. Or still being built, really. Okay, here's one. Protect trade in Malacca. Protect trade in Malacca. Protect trade in Malacca. Protect 
And they should all merge up pretty soon. They're supposed to anyway. Um, here's our transport fleet. Let's just stick them in Jombie for now. Almost up to religious unity again. It'd be nice if we have that as a mission. We'll see if that happens. Truce expired with France. Well, we don't want to attack France anymore, actually. We have everything from France that we wanted. That was a very productive war. We do have to get a bunch from the Castilians and the Portuguese, though. So I think that that's all of the light ships accounted for. No, no, no. Here's another stack of 12. And next will be the transports. Um, I guess, actually, we want to upgrade these guys. It's pretty cheap still. Gain 10 legitimacy. Ooh. Oh, yeah, the new religion spreads thing. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Good event. Upgrade. Well, things are looking pretty good right now. I'm so happy that we got this province in that previous war. Claim our rival rival's province, Ka... What is it? Karia. Um, yeah, you can never really turn down that mission. Okay, here come all the transports. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, here we go. So that's one of the Californian ones, and right now we're kind of filling in this territory. Although we don't have anyone else to stick up there, which is unfortunate. You know, one nice thing is if we would be able to declare war on the Portuguese... Actually, no, they have a transport right there. Why aren't they taking that army off? Huh. Also, what's the case with the Haida? So, you have no allies, and you're not even a protectorate. Well, wait, if we improve relations, would you become our protectorate? Because I'd be happy with that. Let's just see what happens. Yeah, sure. You might protect it. How about those other guys? Yeah, just that. You are westernized, though. Well, we actually probably should just declare war on these folks. so that we have an uninterrupted land bridge. Oh, and that California, they, they took over this. So yeah, we definitely should declare war when we can. Um, one quick thing, we have to go back to the Malacca trade node, go to that little island now that we finished converting it and build the customs house. Now back up here. 
73 days. Uh. Well, we don't need to have that guy staying there. Oh, wait, we finished something. That one, okay. Not much else to colonize at all, actually. Other than Australia. Well, I think I might just hold that colonist in reserve for the moment. Oh, it's taking so long for that diplomat to get back home. Another idea group and more administrative efficiency. Can't argue with that. Let's give you... Oh, okay, you have a general now. Declare war, imperialism, and yeah, we'll call him the Comanche. That's fine. Now let's just do colonial conquest. And there we go. War over. Got some military power. Always nice. We're not going to do that. We will take that mission because we are about to achieve religious unity. Like, yeah, within the year. You, sh you usually don't get that mission if you are actually that close to getting religious unity. Or at least that's been my experience. When you're like... 5% away, sure, but not, you know, 99%. Um, not 90%, 99% of the weed. Oh, I can't talk. Not when you have 99% religion unity. There we go. Well, this one's gone much faster. Uh, 38 days, long sieges. Wow, lots of people dying off here. So, a um, bunch of transport fleets. Let's... Oh yeah, a bunch of them are right there. Of course, we don't need to be paying our army right now. Claim Maya. Um, yes, that's another one of those ones up here. Yeah, it's nice to get those chained like that. All right, let's move them. Wait, is it really only 50 transports? No, no, okay, we have two more sets of 12. I'd rather, really, really, really rather not lose the stability there. We'll lose the ducats. We still have a... Yeah, over 100 for our monthly balance there. Um, let's deselect the heavy ships, mothball these guys, and then combine it all together. 63 and 74, that seems like pretty good numbers to me. Man, it's this one that I really want to finish. So then we can fill in these last two quite quickly. Wow, okay. Way too much spam there.
So you for peace first, full annexation. So you for peace, full annexation. Split my army and I'll garrison them both. Pretty powerful nation state there. So what can I actually do with this province? Like if I recruit regiments, it takes a ridiculous amount of time. I mean, these would lower the recruitment time at least, but it's still not worth it. Well, just continue fortifying a little bit. Oh, I guess, um... Yeah, these are a little bit under-garrisoned right now. Still, there's that there. I'm so tempted to put a nice fat stack of ships here and then declare war on Portugal. And I think our truce is up, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I'm not quite secure enough with my war chest, though. Let's just finish colonizing this. There we go. That's finished. Send and send. Nice money. Nice prestige. Military power. Um, naval morale would be nice. Yeah, I'll take it. Declared war on California. That could escalate into war with France. Um... They should be able to win, no problem. Although they only seem to have a 14 stack. Well, we'll see how it goes for them. Oh, they westernized. Good. How about you? You westernized as well, huh? You guys probably didn't. No, you didn't. Yeah. I assume that they can westernize off me if they want to. But I might be wrong. They might not ever be able to westernize. Because we don't actually share any land borders. And I'm not sure that a water border like that counts. I don't think it does. No, it should, actually. It should. I don't know. I don't know how to play this game. Overseas expand. Yeah. Well, what's going on up here? So, we've really coalesced into the Wu and the Qi as the two Chinas. Incredibly, Ming is still hanging on. That makes no sense. It's a very ugly Utsang cut in half by Tibet. It'd be kind of cool to resurrect a Korea out of this. Oh yeah, we, um, okay, we had a couple extra ships there, protect in Malacca. That seems lower than it should be, 96. Well, our income's looking really healthy now. 
I think it might be time to train up an army and uh, start trashing the Portuguese and Castilians. And is it still a fleet stuck there? Yes, there is. So I think right now we will unmothball this fleet. Uh, cut off the transports, though. Recruit an admiral, even though we have abysmally poor naval tradition. But, ah, oh, 331, that's actually not that bad. And as soon as we hit the new year, I think we're going to call this an episode. So, good night, sleep tight, and don't let the grayskin bite. Bye-bye.